Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showcasing my 2022 everyday carry. As you could probably tell from this channel, I am really big into EDC content like knives, multi-tools, flashlights, and pens. I have a lot of all of those categories, but in this video, I'm going to be going over the mainstays of my 2022 everyday carry. All the items featured in this video are either my most carried items of that category or the only item I carried in that category, like my cell phone. I'm going to start Start off the video with the three mainstays of my everyday carry, or really everyone's everyday carry. Whether you're big into EDC gear or if you're just an average Joe, everyone's gonna have a key setup a cell phone, and some sort of wallet or money holder. For my keys, uh, other than the keys themselves, my setup consists of the Exotac Free Key keyring system. This is basically an improved version of the standard keyring that you'd find uh, like anywhere. So instead of having to dig your fingernails into the keyring, pull it up, and then slide whatever key or tool you want out or in, this Exotac keyring uh, makes it a lot easier by having this little bump inside the actual keyring so that if you just simply push down on the keyring it opens up like so and then you could slide in or out whatever key or tool you want uh, very easily without having to dig your fingernails in and hold it. It's a lot simpler and a lot easier than the traditional key ring and it's very convenient. The other thing that's part of my key setup is the Tech Accessories suspension clip and what this is is basically it's just a pocket clip for your keys. I love this item. I love how I no longer have to dig into my pocket to get my keys. This allows my keys to be clipped to the side of my pocket just like any knife or multi-tool and it's easily accessible. I just need to grab the pocket clip and I have my keys ready to use. My cell phone is a Samsung Galaxy S10e. I've had this cell phone for like three or four years now. It served me well. It's basically the smaller version of the Samsung Galaxy S10. It uh, doesn't have as many cameras. Uh, obviously it's smaller and I don't think the specs are as good as the S10 but uh, it's exactly what I needed. I like this size. Uh, there are plenty of bigger phones out there but I don't really need a big phone, and I think the camera is great for the price. The case is good. The plastic is pretty solid. It also has a tempered glass uh, screen protector on the top. This isn't just the phone screen, which is nice. It serves its purpose, and I, I like my phone setup. And last up for the core of my EDC is my wallet. My wallet is the Pete's Pirate Life Miscellaneous Goods Co. Slim Wallet. This was a limited edition wallet uh, between Miscellaneous Goods Co. and Pete's Pirate Life. Uh, this was a one and done collaboration. It also came with a uh, special coin that was cool. But what I liked most about this wallet was that it is handmade in America. It's made out of great quality leather and it can also hold a lot of cards and cash and certifications while still being very slim. As an EMT, I'm required to carry a lot of certifications on me and that's where this flap comes in handy. Uh, I keep cash, I keep some credit cards, and in the back I keep all of the the certifications I'm required to have me for identification. And in the back pocket, I have my most used cards and uh, my driver's license, so they're easily accessible. It's a rock solid wallet, although this collaboration isn't available anymore, at least for retail. Uh, Miscellaneous Goods Co. Uh, still consistently makes uh, the slim wallet model, and I definitely recommend it. I have two more electronic devices in my EDC, and those are my earbuds and my smartwatch. The watch is a garbage Instinct. It's just the standard model. It's not solar, but for what you're getting, I think this caught retailed for around like $110. I'll flash up the price, the current price uh, as a correction, but this watch is basically everything I need. I originally uh, consistently wore a Fitbit. I thought the trackers and functions of a Fitbit were excellent for me, but the only thing lacking about the Fitbit was its durability. And so when I found out that the this Garmin Instinct had basically all the same tracking stats as the Fitbit, but even more functionality, as well as it being uh, durable and a consistently used item in the U.S. military. I definitely knew I had to have it, and I haven't looked back ever since. This is a great smartwatch. Uh, I love all the smart functionalities. I love its stat trackers, and especially its sleep tracker, and uh, its alarms, its stopwatch, and uh, its timer function is also very easy to use. It's a rock-solid smartwatch and fit 
fitness tracker for its price. My earbuds are the JBL Vibe 100. I'm not an audiophile by any means. Uh, I base I just know JBL is like a top audio brand, and uh, these were only like thirty dollars. Some true wireless earbuds can retail for a lot more than that. I think the sound is pretty good. Uh, the true wireless earbuds they have no problem connecting to my phone. Never had any issue. USB Type C charging uh, in the back. Uh, they fit well in the ears, they're nice and small, and the form factor is nice and compact too. Uh, pretty solid pair of true wireless earbuds. Right Slice Light. These are the core items of any enthusiast EDC. Obviously, the, the normal core of an EDC would be keys, wallet, and phone, but if you want to carry extra items, uh, you definitely need a good pen, a good knife and or multi-tool, and a flashlight to complement your core EDC. For the pen, I have consistently carried a Fisher Space Pen Bullet for the past two years. Uh, I really love how small it is, and that pressurized pen uh, insert is awesome. It consistently writes well. Uh, if you don't, if you're new to the space pen, the pressurized refill, it can basically write uh, anywhere and in any condition. If you have oil or water on top of something, it can still write. And because it's a space pen, uh, it is functional in zero gravity, although uh, I have yet to find myself in a zero gravity environment. Uh, I really like how the cap, when you take it off the pen, it basically, it makes the pen bigger so it fits in your hand well. And then uh, when you're not using using it uh, and you cap the pen off, it is nice and compact and can easily fit in your pocket. My uh, bullet com came with a pocket clip, which is nice. Uh, I really like having a pocket clip on my pen. And while the bullet has served me well, I've always preferred a click pen. I know it's very small, but the time it takes to uncap the pen and then recap the pen uh, takes a little too much time in my opinion. I know it might sound silly, and that's why I prefer a click pen because all you gotta do to deploy the pen is that and boom it's deployed instead of the cap. I know it's kind of silly but a click pen, a twist pen, or a bolt action pen is a lot more faster than a pen with a cap. So I wanted a click pen as well as the same pressurized refill as uh, the space pen bullet. So that's where this Fisher astronaut pen came in. Now this pen was actually sent to me by my friends at Huckberry a few weeks ago. I've been carrying this daily ever since and I haven't looked back. Well this pen is a lot more cheaper and it is still one of the best bang for your buck American made pens out there. I much prefer this because of the click form factor. It's also very fidgety. You don't simply click the main button to retract the pen. You have this side button to retract the pen. So it is very fun and fidgety as well. I'll leave an affiliate link to Huckberry in the description if you want to buy this pen for yourself as well as support my channel. This was actually the original space pen design used in the Apollo 7 mission. It's made out of brass with a chrome plating. Again, I love the action and fidgety feeling of the pen, and it is high quality like every Fisher pen made. Next up is my go-to flashlight. This is the Surefire Sidekick. It's basically the same size as a modern car key fob. It has a max output of 300 lumens. It has three different brightness options as a button. It starts low, then to medium, then all the way to high to that 300 lumen output. It's really nice. Micro USB charge compact size, and it's one of the very few flashlights that are actually assembled in the USA. I know most flashlights are usually imported, but it's nice that this flashlight is assembled in the USA, and it also only retails for $27. For the form factor, the lumen output, and it being assembled in the USA, uh, this was a no-brainer for me. This is consistently carried with me, whether it be on my keys or simply in my pocket, or even hanging in a carabiner on my belt loop. It's very nice to keep on my belt loop just to easily quickly grab if I need to use a light. I'm sure all of you saw this coming. The Leatherman Free P2 is my go-to EDC multi-tool. As I say in all of my Leatherman reviews, I mean, what can I say that I haven't said about this tool? I love how it's one-hand operable of literally all of the tools. You can uh, one-hand open and close all the tools. It has a solid tool set. Uh, my, my most used tool is definitely the Spring Action 
scissors, which is nice. Again, one hand opening and closing of all the tools, whatever you need, it's there. And then of course, it also has a deep carry pocket clip, which is essential for me. And while it's not a small multi-tool by any means, I feel like the tool set and the functionality you're getting out of it is worth the pocket space and the price. And next up are my two most carried EDC knives of 2022. First up, we have the premium Benchmade bug out in a black DLC coated uh, M390 blade as well as uh aircraft grade aluminum handles. Uh, as I said, it's a premium version of the ever so popular bug out. The M390 is a super steel. It has amazing edge retention and corrosion resistance as well as decent toughness. I love the pop of burgundy in the backspacers and the thumb studs. Uh, of course, Benchmade's uh, access lock is easy and fidgety to use. There are multiple ways of opening the knife, whether you flick it open, reverse flick, or of course just use the access lock. And the handles look beautiful. I love how solid they feel in the hand and I love the design of the handles. It looks really nice. Got that deep carry pocket clip. Again, it's an essential for me for any knife or multi-tool. I managed to get a killer deal on this knife. I think end of 2021 from Blade HQ. This knife usually retails for like over two I managed to get this for around 160 Definitely a steal. But even at full price, I feel like this premium bug out is worth the money. And next up is my large Chris Reeves Sabenza 31. I bought this to celebrate me finally starting my EMS career. It's definitely the most expensive knife I own. It's definitely a premium knife, but I mean, I love this knife. I love how this knife is very well put together and it looks great, but it's also meant to be used and used well. Well, uh, I, as you can probably tell, I've definitely carried this a lot. I've used it a lot. I have sharpened the knife. It uses S35VN. I love the blue thumb stud and the backspacers. It adds a nice subtle pop of color to um, a monochromatic knife. The tolerances are awesome. After finally owning a Chris Reeve knife, I can definitely attest to uh, the tolerances being amazing on the knife. Uh, that deliberate opening and closing is nice. The pocket clip, while it's not deep carry it's also not the shallowest carry so i think it's pretty good as well it's also made out of titanium and has a two uh indent uh design for easy carry overall one of the best knives i own in my collection and the knife celebrates a big accomplishment in my life and we finally made it to the last two items in my edc first we have my urban survival pouch the pouch is from zero feud the pouch is actually called a wallet uh, pouch but i don't use it as a wallet. I house a ton of very useful uh, urban EDC survival items in this uh, pouch. It, whether it be urban survival or just simple uh, handy tasks, uh, they're stored in this uh, pouch. I made a dedicated video on this pouch. Uh, it's one of my most popular videos on the channel, but if you haven't seen it, I'll flash up a little card so you can watch it. This uh, fits in my pocket real easily. It might look a little bulky, but it fits in one of my front pockets easily and if I do need an important item, it's there and I can easily get it out of the pouch. As an EMS professional, I always carry some sort of first aid kit or trauma kit on me, but when it comes to EDC, in my opinion, all you need is a good pack of Z-folded gauze. I carry quick clock gauze, but uh, you really just need um, a nice $5 pack of Z-folded gauze. Z-folded gauze is very versatile. You can use it to pack wounds. You can use it just for direct pressure. And that was my 2022 everyday carry. What do you guys think of my carry? Do you have any gear or brands you recommend I start carrying or swap out? i definitely like to know down in the comments. And that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials and thanks for watching.